I is simply the best. Hiya guys, hope you all are doing good. I'm back with episode 9 review of Ashinoko season 2 so let's get things rolling. At first we see a flashback showing a young Aqua and Ruby sitting in a theater with Ai, watching a film Aqua starred in. Ai praises Aqua's acting talent and expresses hope that he will become a phenomenal actor one day. Returning to the Tokyo Blade stage play, Kana acknowledges Aqua's emotional acting skills. Then, in a dream sequence, an older Aqua stares down at Ai's corpse while a dark presence scolds him for trying to live a happy life, insisting he must first defeat the man who murdered Ai. Well, I don't know about Aqua, but this whole Ai part made me pretty emotional and made me realize just how much I love Ai as a character. Also the animation just doubled the feelings of this part. We see Aqua argue against the dark presence, which transforms into a younger version of himself. He tells it that he plans to channel his frustrations into nailing the performance. Back on stage, Taiki, Kana, and the others perform at their best. Aqua reflects on miracles and wonders what could have happened if Ai had survived. He then cries while holding Akane in his arms. Afterward, Akane regroups with Yuki and the others, who praise her acting talents. Akane thanks them but insists that Taiki and Kana are better. The scene shifts to Kana in an undisclosed room, where Memcho, Ruby, and Miyako join her. I kinda get the feeling that Aqua is somehow overcoming his trauma even though his plan is to avenge Ai. Also I really wanted to see everyone's reaction to Aqua's performance, but sadly they kinda kept things very vague for some reason. Moving on we see that Kana is excited that the stage play is almost over and reflects on what she observed while performing with Aqua, Akane, and the others. She expresses her desire to one day surpass Akane. Meanwhile, Kendaichi and Masaya discuss the stage play, with Masaya bringing up Kana and her value. Kendaichi acknowledges that Akane impressed him, but mentions that someone else stood out even more. Then, one of Raida's workers approaches him, informing him that representatives want to speak with him. Raida replies that he will meet with them soon. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seemed to me that they did multiple plays in multiple locations, rather than just one play. Also everyone praising Akane kinda implies that Taiki and Kana couldn't outshine Akane and Aqua. Then we see a monologue from Aqua while in a restroom, with DNA samples from various people beside him, stating that another play is about to begin. The scene shifts to the Tokyo Blade stage play, which has reached its finale, and all the actors and actresses bow and thank the audience. Later, the cast gathers in a room, where Akane makes a restaurant reservation for everyone. Kana initially doesn't want to go, but when Aqua says he'll be attending, Kana decides to go as well. At the restaurant, Aqua confronts Kendaichi, asking about his experiences with La La Lai and its origins. Kendaichi hesitates to reveal certain details, prompting Taiki to suggest they head to a bar. The DNA report part is quite misleading. At first I thought Aqua tested someone's DNA, and the result turned out to be negative, but I got proven wrong in the most unexpected way, and I will talk about that in a bit. Also Taiki seems to be a really nice person. At the end we see that at the bar, Taiki and Aqua discuss the bar's atmosphere, the attendees, and Taiki's intentions. Taiki then reveals the truth about his relationship with Kendaichi. A drunken Kendaichi praises Aqua's skills before passing out on a sofa. Taiki apologizes to Aqua for not getting Kendaichi to reveal anything, but Aqua reassures him, saying he actually wants to talk to Taiki. Aqua then presents a DNA test result document, revealing that he and Taiki share the same father, and asks Taiki for information about their father. I bet there's not a single person in the entire anime and manga community who saw that twist coming. I mean there was absolutely nothing that gave us the slightest hint that Taiki might be an important character, not to mention, Aqua's stepbrother. I was caught so off guard that I had to pause, and make sure that I wasn't seeing things. Also I don't think Taiki knows much about their father either, given the fact he was raised in an orphanage. Nonetheless, it was a great episode with a very unexpected twist at the end. 
By the way, as most of you might already know, there won't be a new episode airing this week. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep me motivated to make more videos, and you can also leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.